Um, nothing, and no recording. Oh, never. You saw that? They moved, and my thing went crazy, tricking me. That was um, Poltergeist. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Hell Sign. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. I know it's been a while since the last video. To be honest with you, I loved the premise of the game, but I was fairly lukewarm on the gameplay. You know, the, the black light feature was just super tedious sometimes to find things. So, they've been working on it because it's still an early access title. They've released a lot of updates based on some of the complaints that players have had. So I'm hoping that now maybe it's a little bit like, you know, more of a relax, not really relaxing because you're dealing with paranormal and ghosts, but it's more of a less tedious experience. So they've worked on the black light feature a bit. The enemies are, have better tail signs when they attack, because the game uses like dodges, like Dark Souls that has iframes, so a lot of people were saying like, hey, it's really hard to dodge these things. So that's been a little bit looked at too, and apparently also the poltergeist now actually mess with your equipment when you're going through scenes as well. So it, it does sound fairly intriguing, as I mentioned, I love the premise of the game. It's just the gameplay mechanics that I'm still like, you know, trying to get my head wrapped around. But we'll come back here with this video and maybe things are a little bit better. Zoe's, or at least continue the overall story of the game. So, you managed to find any signs for me? One clue and one evidence? I do got that. So, yeah, I got some, but it wasn't easy. Give signs to her. So we got $70 and 20 experience as well. Great. Now I just need to cross-reference those with this giant pile of newspaper from 76, and I should get some answers. So what did you want to ask me? I think it was about that... the dark world or the, the, the tattoo on my back? So I woke up with no memory of who I was or what had happened. I guess that's close enough. Hmm, interesting. Now I got this giant hell sign on my back, not to mention the recurring nightmares and headaches. Hmm, yeah, I have read stories about this before. I'll be honest, it could be from a number of things from cursed brands to alternate dimensional snapback, but my best guess would be an altercation with a powerful poltergeist. I would have to do some research through, so, some research though to find out for sure. So you're saying I fought a, pol a poltergeist? Look, I really can't be sure without studying you a little further, but I get the feeling helping you find your answers will help me figure out what's going on here. So I'll help you out. Sounds fair, thanks. Don't thank me just yet. Anyway, Lefty mentioned you were in the loop with Redback, and I heard he sells artifacts and wrote Portuguese pages. Any chances you can see if he has a shadow page on him? Alright, so it's gonna be a reward of 175, good money, and 30 experience. Okay, so I think Lefty's gonna be the boy over here. So I gotta buy the shadow page, apparently, which costs 125. I got 84, but we have plenty of um, things to sell off over here, so it's fine. So we're up to 348. We might be able to get even better equipment now. But let's get the shadow pages for one. That's been completed. Any luck getting pages from Redback? Yes. I got it, but it was damn expensive. Oh wow, I didn't actually expect him to have one. This is so exciting. Here, this could cover the cost. And it actually did. With a little bit of extra on top. So I looked into your situation a bit more and found an identical case just like yours back from 1966. Right around the time the Great Dimensional Terror. Don't know if there is any other correlation, but I thought you should know. What's that? Let me put it simply for you. You know how wormholes evolved the Urinfest paradox? So due to the asymptotic projection of the Calibo Yao... What's with all these words? <laughs> Manifold, there was a compromise of the Einstein-Rosen bridge. Yeah, um, so how does this link to my amnesia? Yeah, it's just a theory, but I'll need a while to decipher this shadow page and figure out how it ties into the other incidents around town. So you may as well find something to do while you wait. Fine. I could keep myself occupied. I think we got to go buy some equipment for one. And we're gonna go bust some dudes now that we're feeling a bit more froggy. So let's leave here for one. Did I level up some my other question? Because if I did, we have one skill point. I'm gonna drop that bad boy into medic. Survival. Yeah. So now our bandage will not have a penalty to it anymore. And I want armor, for a fact. So the rugged coat requires heavy armor, which we don't have. Leather jacket, though, would be a straight upgrade to the hoodie. It gives me 80 and 10. This is 20 and 5. Security is probably going to be heavy, right? Yeah. So 220 for the leather jacket. I think that's definitely good. So we can take more hits. There it is. And I guess we should probably just go into a random mission here. I don't think we're ready for sweeping. Can I even do that? Oh, not enough reputation for this job. 89 reputation. Okay, well that makes it a lot easier for me. 
So scouting, it's gonna have to be. Okay, so before we book it, let's see about having you equipped. Um, how do I just... Just a straight up swap that way, right? Excellent. So better defenses now for a fact. Mountain boots, we got leather jacket. Got heels as well. Alright, good. Let's bring this out. And once we get this um, reload penalty away, we'll be really, really good boys here. So let's start off. I gotta get my dodging game up as well. And keep an eye out for whatever changes they've made as well that you might have picked up on. I'm really curious about how the poultry guys are gonna mess with your equipment though. That's what I'm really curious about. I don't even know why we have this sidearm equipped completely. I'm gonna go completely SMG from now on, since ammo's fairly cheap, that's what I found out. Okay. So right now we're good. Let's start off by probably popping you. All good? Let's check out what the black lights has for us. So apparently, like, um, it was just really hard to find tracks. People were, like, complaining about that, so... They apparently have made it easier, or like, a little bit more apparent. Did I just hear something right now? No. So they've made it a little bit more friendly, I guess, to use. No signs over here. And nothing to record. Okay. I'm gonna go room by room so we make sure we don't, like, you know, miss something. The, the biggest thing I hate about this game is when I miss something and I have to go through the entire house all over to, like, double sweep. Ah! That's gonna be the boy. The boy somehow missed, and I'm happy about that, but he's coming back now. He's gonna take- he's gonna hit me. I'm gonna take that hit because I have to reload. Oh, you see my armor, though. Look, he barely did any damage now. Look at that. Before, like, one hit from this boy would be, like, half of my HP. Dude. Yo, pick up your armor upgrades as soon as possible, boys. Yeah, he actually missed himself the first one. The second one, I let him hit me because I wanted to finish the animation for reloading. Otherwise, if I dodge, it resets the entire animation. So it's gonna, you gotta wait again to reload. It's like, nah, nah, it's fine. Alright, so let's see if there's any blood here for us. Uh, apparently not. Oh, oh, we got some activity around here, though. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. It's gonna be this boy. We got... Evidence! A pendant, huh? Don't, yeah, you don't gotta check it again, it's fine. Just once it's done. Any recordings? Nope. And no blood just yet. Okay. So, like, make sure we keep on top of everything here so I'm not here for, like, half an hour. Like, um, it seemed like a few of you... Like, not a few of you, but, like, the majority of you guys seem to enjoy the videos, but... There were a couple of people I mentioned, like, you know, Falcon, I don't like the cuts too much on this. You have to understand that this is a game where I have to cut because there's a lot of, like, fine tooth comb detail scavenging you gotta do. So if I miss something, I'm, like, basically stuck, like, okay, where did I miss this? I have to go through everything again. That's why I did a lot of, um, cutting in the first video or two. He, he, he. Okay, I see it, I see it! Oh, we dodged it! Oh, baby! Yeah, I normally I'm terrible at dodging that, but I saw the little um, cabinet thing just floating over. I was like, okay, it's gonna come at me, so we go that way. Perfect. And that's another thing that people were complaining about early in the game too. That that along with the um, bugs being so overpowered and the low amount of armor that you have, like, would kill people really quickly too. But you know, sometimes you just gotta get good. Speaking of which, I'm hearing more noise around here. Don't think it's gonna be this room. Maybe. Maybe. Could be just be next door. Yeah, see, we're leaving it now. But there's no blood here, though, right? Nope. Nothing over here. Alright, so we, we should have another one. Through this way. Uh. Okay, we're getting higher. Like Scott Stapp from Creed. Can you take me higher? Is that a Scott Stamp reference in 2018, Falcon? Yes, it is. Well, you know what? Hey, you know what? For the time, it was all right. Homeboy. Kind of an all right voice. You know, it was a good voice, but sometimes he did sound very constipated. I will give, I will admit that. But fairly good voice. And then I think the rest of his um, band... Oh, oh. The, best of his, the rest of his band dumped them, and they formed Audio Slave. 
Or am I... Am I... No, no, no. Alter Bridge. Alter Bridge. Audio Slave was the... Chris and... Rage Against the Machine people. Right. Alright, so that's, um... What was that? Evidence number two? Speaking of which, let's bring this up. So, let's, um, unleash the... Well, we can't unleash because it's not a hunting ground. But we have Blood Clothers. Oh, yeah. Surprise that. But we're still not done. We gotta get two more. But, you know, this is going a lot smoother than the first two videos. I'll admit that right now. Um... Oh, we can just open that. This is going a lot smoother in the first two videos. Which is kind of surprising because I haven't played this since then, <laughs> so... I'd imagine I'd come back right now and just be complete garbage, but... Surprisingly enough... It's all fine. So we're done here. We know there was nothing there whatsoever. We found our clue over through here. And judging by what we just went through right now, this is secure. Okay. This is exactly why I cut as well, because I go back to double check all the time. Oh, blood splatter. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, it does seem that blood... Yeah, it's a lot easier to spot now. Could we find something here? Hey! Oh, we got the clue already! Dude! This has been going splendidly. I don't want to jinx it at this point, but... The clue's the most annoying one to find. Alright. All we need is just one more evidence, and we can identify. And we done here, boys. Alright. This is going splendid. So now we're just looking for either recording or this. Um, at this point, we don't have to worry too much about the the black light. I don't think we even need that at this point. Hey! Oh, wow. Wow, that's scummy. Making that dude spawn in front of you, that's fairly scummy. Let's see if I can dodge this boy. He's coming? Yeah, not too bad. Alrighty, let's see. I need, like, to be able to spot him from afar. Come on, come on, boy. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, I took a break and I came back MOG, what can I say? But making that dude spawn literally in front of- look at this, look at this situation right here. That is fairly scummy. Now, I don't think, like, the developers meant for this to happen. The problem is that this game is, um, randomly generated, the levels are. So, sometimes you will get a situation like this where it's kind of like, whoa, that's pretty terrible. But, you know, it's what the game generated. I would have liked a little bit, like, you know, not RN, like, not randomly generated levels. I do like levels where, you know, people just take the time to... mold it to their own liking. But, for a game with this kind of scope, I understand why it's not possible. I get that. Especially for a smaller development team. Um... Nothing. And no recording. Oh! Never! You saw that? They moved! And my thing went crazy, tricking me. That was, um, Poltergeist. That's like the first, I mean, we probably have seen other ones, but I've missed them. But that's the first one I actually noticed myself right now. So that's the poltergeist messing around with me, tricking me to thinking we had found my clue. When in reality, that was not the case. Okay. If I could just get around close to like... Oh boy! Oh boy! Get away from me, Spider-Man! You, you think I'm scared of you? Huh? I mean, technically, the, the, the yelping sound would, yes, and probably admit that I'm scared, but you don't really do too much damage now, so it's fine. Alright, um... All good, all good. Yeah, see, these guys become... Oh, jeez, Louise! See, now that one I don't agree with. You literally spawned, and you're already, like, seriously in an attack animation. Where are you coming from? Oh, you scum. And now I gotta reload. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you taking the piss right now? Are you taking the piss? Well, never mind about being a better player. That's all gone now. <laughs> Let's reload. It's like, yeah, that better player talks has gone out the window now. I'm good. Alright, it'll probably be better once we get the reload thing. I don't have to worry too much about, like, gotta make an every shot count. Just spray and pray, baby. Uh, thing there. Yo, they're really making me work for this last clue, aren't they? We got noise, though. It's you. We're done, boys. All right. Dude, this went so swell. This went amazing. There you go. Put it over there. So, we have to decipher the pathology. Let's go to pathology. We have a head, 
brain exposed. Uh, don't think it's vampiric. We got brain, venomous, devour. It's probably devour, right? Cause venomous, it's also a head, sure. But devour has got blood from the eyes like this fella right here. I'm gonna go with devour, hopefully that's right. Ah. What? What happened? <laughs> what? What the hell was that about? He got scared, and he scared me in the process of getting scared himself. Uh, let me try this medkit. It says 60 up there. Um, use it. Oh, I see, I see. So, it could restore up to 60. But you use it whenever you want to. So right now we use 30 to heal up. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Alrighty, boys. So we are done over here. That went really, really splendid. Let's see if hopefully this one job was enough to proc what's-your-face for me to be able to continue on with the questing here. Alrighty, and our job was concluded. Everything well. And let's check out Bar. Oh. Apparently not. So... Hmm. I'm not sure if I have to continue leveling to get more reputation. Or find somebody to talk to to trigger. I'm not really sure. I guess I'll try to figure it off camera, though. Um, if you guys want to see some more, let me know. I'm, I'm feeling a bit more comfortable playing the game now. So I might do a little bit more if you guys are enjoying it. So let me know in the comments if you're leaving a thumbs up. And we might bring it back here. It does seem that there's been a couple of changes here and there that's a little bit more satisfying for the gameplay. But um, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. I will catch you next time.